Hey everybody, it's Mark Henninger from AVS Forum with a report from the 2016 New York Luxury Technology Show. The floor was full of toys, from cars to VR to guitars. Yamaha brought personal watercraft. I had been expecting to hear stereo systems from the company. The major TV makers were there, Sony, LG, Samsung, and they had three 65-inch HDR-capable TVs set up side by side. LG's flagship G6 OLED looked great playing Dolby Vision content. Meanwhile, Samsung's KS9500 looked fantastic playing 1000-nit HDR content. Sony's equally excellent X930D looked eye-popping playing content from the motion picture Pixels. Hisense was also there, hiding right around the corner. High-end electronics manufacturer Name was there with its Muso QB, sort of a lifestyle audio, stereo, standalone, wireless, do-it-all, Sonos competing device that costs $1,000 per piece. The hardware does look pretty serious. In what may have marked a trend, JBL also offered a $1,000 stereo standalone lifestyle audio system called the Authentics L16. Danish electronics and speaker maker Gamut was there with their budget-busting RS3 bookshelf-style two-way speakers, which run approximately $20,000 a pair. I struggled to figure out the appeal of the Estelle and Kern AKT1 standalone music system. At first I thought, oh cool, a detachable wireless system with a bass that serves as a sub. Well, I was wrong. If the speakers are not attached to the bass, you won't hear anything at all. Furthermore, the system seemed to struggle to overcome the background noise at the show. It just didn't sound that great to my ears. Last but not least, I checked out the 99 Classic, a $309 headphone from Romanian manufacturer Meze that specializes in wooden headphones with all screw construction. They were comfortable and sounded good. Well, that's all for now. Until next time, this is Mark Henninger, Senior Writer, AVS Forum.